I've got a question for you. What would you do if one day you were on the street and you saw a headless creature approaching you, or you saw a heart beating on its own right in front of you without any other organ present? Let me guess. Scream, run, or pass out? Sometimes it's cool to see strange things, but when things get scary, like a dead animal living, it's scary, right? It's hard to believe a dead animal could live, but it's real. However, today we are going to discover together that these animals and these organs live after their death. This list is shocking, so stick till the end. Before we continue, press the subscribe button and bell icon for regular updates. Number 10. Toads. They are some of the scariest creatures that can live without a head. I guess you don't believe that, but there is a true story about it. A discovery was made thanks to the ERP American ethologist Jill Fleming, who found a headless toad in an American forest. Oh, that's creepy. Surprisingly, he was alive and even appeared to be in good health. To be more precise, this toad does not have a nose, mouth, or neck. And despite that, it was moving naturally. They even grew like ordinary toads. Scientists couldn't find any precise explanation for why this toad was able to stay alive. They claim, however, that it may be a genetic mutation. That's not all. The next on our list is the fly. Number 9. The Fly Scientists also experimented on the fly and found out that it can live without a head for a few days. During this period, flies can live naturally, flying and walking, and even better when they have their heads. But being headless makes them not recognize each other. Who would anyway? Indeed, the female considers the headless male as a stranger. According to scientists, the fly can live without a head due to its incredible organs. She has a spare brain, as well as a few other organs in her thorax. Reasons for why it acts by reflex against the light, even without eyes. Given the existence of sensory cells in his kidneys, by doing our research on these animals, which continue to live after their death, or after having cut off their heads, we come across a real phenomenon. Number eight is the chicken. We eat these guys almost every day, so how come they can live after their head is chopped off? Let's find out together, buddy. Indeed. We have discovered that chickens are among the animals that can continue to live for a long time, up to 18 months after having cut off their heads. The world made the startling discovery of it in September 1945, when an American farmer named Lloyd Olson decided to kill a chicken on his farm for dinner. Now, after cutting off his head, the man was very surprised to see that the chicken was standing in front of him and running around the farm without its head. This race lasted long hours. In the end, the man decided not to eat it and began to feed his headless chicken through his esophagus. The scariest thing, my friends, is that the chicken fed and cackled ordinarily. After some time, however, the bird died due to an incident as it was difficult for it to defend itself and escape predatory birds. After examining him, Scientists found out why he was left alive after his head was cut off. Indeed, the farmer's axe did not cut the carotid artery of the chicken, which protected it from the bleeding and maintained its regular pulse, so he could breathe naturally through the esophagus. Before your brain starts to wander, let's go where the hydra is laying peacefully to learn about him. Number 7. The Hydra Let's be clear, we are not talking about the Hydra of Lerna, the famous mythological monster whose head keeps growing again. The Hydra that interests us here is a small aquatic animal with tentacles and showing a slight resemblance to sea animals. A sort of mini kraken. What? The Hydra has nothing in particular except a fabulous power, even when cut into small pieces. She can fully reconstitute herself. It was for this ability that Rebecca Helm, a marine life specialist at Blend University in the United States, gave her the nickname Dr. Manhattan of the Animal Kingdom. Just like John and in Satcher, this man has succeeded in reconstituting himself atom by atom. The Hydra can survive extreme death to observe their true power. All you need to do is put a hydra in a blender and place the resulting puree in the bottom of a bowl. Slowly, the remains will start to move and form small clumps. That's sure a good experiment, especially if you are a science student. The hydra will start to take shape and thin tentacles will start to come out and suddenly there will be little bodies all over the place. Well, there you are bound to be shocked, either because of the regeneration of the phenomenal Hydra, or because the scientists passed small innocent beings to the blender. All said, we know that. But how do Hydras regenerate themselves? According to a recent study published by scientists at the University of California, Hydras do not have brains. Instead, their heads contain command cells that continuously send signals to other cells to tell them what to do to survive. The Hydra must therefore keep part of its head intact, even after it's been smashed. 
The Hydra only needs 5 to 20 of these command cells in order to tell the other cells to assemble, forging a large Hamas that returns to its original form in less than 4 days. Hydra can even potentially create other bodies if enough command cells are intact. How amazing! Now we've talked about the Hydra, it's time to see what the squid can do after death. Number 6. A Squid no, this is not the name of a strange or rare animal, but the name of a Japanese dish, also known as the dancing squid. When you order this dish, you're supposed to have a fresh dead squid. Now, what characterizes the dancing squid? The dish is mainly based on the soy sauce that accompanies it. Everything looks normal until you pour in the soy sauce that makes the squid move. The latter then begins to play with its arms, as if they were dancing. This arouses the surprise of many people. Fortunately, scientists and specialists have found an explanation for this phenomenon. It all relates to the nerve fibers of these wonderful creatures who, even after death, can still shake their booty. This is because it had an involuntary reaction because of the sodium in it. Indeed, the dude is dead and his arms move by reflex in reaction to sodium, which gives us the impression that it is dancing. Number 5. The Octopus This is why, in South Korea too, there's a very famous dish made from pieces of octopus that move as soon as you pour soy sauce on them. So much that the pieces of octopus try to escape the soybeans. The strangest thing is the octopus knows that its arms remain alive after death. Thus, he continues to move for almost an hour after his death. Even after cooking, sometimes improper chewing of octopus pieces can cause movements in the stomach, but also severe discomfort, which can sometimes be fatal. Indeed, studies have shown that around six people die each year after consuming this Korean dish. Now, let's move away from the dishes and food. I'm getting scared already. Number 4. The Cockroach The cockroach is characterized by its ability to live without essential organs and systems for an entire hour. Scientists claim that this insect species can survive and resist any bad condition. Cockroaches would be even able to survive a nuclear bomb. Likewise, they prove that the cockroach can live without a head for more than a week. This phenomenon was discovered by a scientist from Pennsylvania, USA who cut off the heads of several American cockroaches under the microscope before covering the piece with medical waxes. The scientists then put these cockroaches inside a glass jar and watched them for three weeks during which the bugs remained alive. According to scientists, this phenomenon is because the blood cells gather at the level of the lower part of the head and not at the level of the latter and the brain is not as large as the cockroach, the man. In addition, this insect does not breathe through its mouth or nose like its hands, but through small stigmas located in its abdomen, which are uncontrollable by the brain and which are characterized by their self-control. On the other hand, the diet of cockroaches is an essential factor, helping to keep them numbered. Number three, flatworms. Are you acquainted with the conviction about how earthworms off-replicate? It says that if you cut a worm down the middle, it will shape from the different parts. This has since been demonstrated to be finished foolishness. Notwithstanding, substitute the earthworm with a the flatworm, then this old wife's story abruptly turns into a genuine story. Flatworms, or planarians, are known as bosses of recovery. They can remake any pieces of their body after removal. If one is sliced down the middle, the head partition grows a tail, and the tail parcel becomes a head. Number two. Salamanders. In case you're thinking of a rundown of animals that are determined to stick to life even after clear demise, you'll be frustrated not to include the salamander. This creature has consistently been commensurate to long life and eternality. It's even adored by individuals who trust in wizardry. Accepting the stunning regenerative forces of this creature are nothing less than paranormal salamanders that have the astonishing capacity to recover any piece of its body that has been cut off. This is because of the direct result of a unique protein found in salamanders, which empowers the replication of cells. This protein can likewise be found in people, however, in smaller amounts, and they assist us with mending our injuries. Number 1. Bees Honeybees do not live forever. Their qualities don't hold the way to interminable life. Their lives are pretty much as delicate as most of us. Anyway, there is one explicit motivation behind why honeybees show up on this list, and that is because, although a honeybee is dead, it still inflicts a ton of pain. Well, not in the way that you would think, obviously. Dead honeybees don't go fly around and effectively sting you. It's just that their stinging parts, and more importantly, their venom delivery system will still work, regardless of whether the bee is long dead. When a honeybee stings, the thing disconnects from its body, leaving it implanted into the skin of its victim. Attached to the sting is a little organ that both contains a toxin and a tiny muscle that siphons the toxin out. So, in case you're imagining that a dead honeybee is harmless, you better think again. That's it for our list of animals that can live after their death. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.